Tonight's lesson is on exponential notation. We're going to do a nice review of exponents. If a number is in exponential form or exponential notation, the exponent tells us how many times we'll multiply the base by itself. So in this case, the base is 2, the exponent is 3. It says we'll multiply 2 by itself 3 times. We can work that out and see what that would be. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. That means 2 to the third power is 8. So 8 is a power of 2. Sometimes the base will be negative. Anytime the base is negative, they'll always put that base within parentheses. And what a base of negative 2 to the third power means is to just take negative 2 and multiply it by itself three times. Again, our exponent is 3, so we're going to multiply negative 2 by itself three times. Let's take a look. Negative 2 times negative 2. A negative times a negative is a positive. 2 times 2 is 4. So then we have 4 times negative 2. A positive times a negative is a negative. 4 times 2 is 8. That means negative 2 within parentheses, the 3 on the outside of parentheses, is actually negative 8 when we simplify it. So negative 2 to the third power is negative 8. In the next example, I'd like you to see is 5 to the third the same as 5 times 3? Pause the video, write up what you think, and then come on back and see how I worked it out. Okay, hopefully you paused the video. Well, 5 to the third is not the same as 5 times 3. And the reason I even put this slide on here is because you have no idea how many times kids tell me 5 to the third is 15. It's certainly not. You have no idea how many times kids say 5 to the third is 5 times 3. Oh, that's 15. Super. Absolutely not. 5 to the third means 5 times 5 times 5. The 3 tells you how many times to multiply the base by itself. Let's work this out. 5 times 5 is 25 times 5 is 125. So 5 to the third power equals 125. 5 times 3, on the other hand, 5 times 3 is 15. It means three groups where there's 5 in each group, 5, 10, 15. 5 times 3 is 15. 15 and 125 are certainly not the same. Therefore, 5 to the third is not the same as 5 times 3. Absolutely not. And again, I only put that slide in because you have no idea how many times kids want to tell me that they actually mean the same thing, and they do not. Let's take a look at this example. Negative 2 to the fourth power. I'd like you to think about what that means. Simplify it and get me to a single value. Pause the video and try that out. Okay, hopefully you paused the video and tried it. Negative 2 to the fourth power means to multiply negative 2 by itself four times. Let's work that out. Negative 2 times negative 2, a negative times a negative is a positive. 2 times 2 is 4. Negative 2 times negative 2, a negative times a negative is a positive. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. So a base of negative 2 raised to the fourth power is 16. And the reason I find that interesting is because we actually started with a negative base, but after we multiplied it by itself four times, our final answer simplified is positive. So sometimes if you start with a negative base and you raise it to a certain power, let's say 4, you'll come up with a positive answer. I wonder if you always get a positive answer when you raise a negative base to a power. To decide that, I'd like you to try this one. Negative 2 is the base, 3 is the exponent. What does negative 2 to the third mean? I need you to pause the video, try it out, come on back. Okay, negative 2 to the third power means negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 2. A negative times a negative is a positive. 2 times 2 is 4 times negative 2. 
A positive times a negative is a negative. Four times two is eight. Hmm. So negative two as your base raised to the third power, multiplying it by itself three times, you actually come up with a simplified answer of negative eight. So sometimes when you start with a negative base and raise to a power, you come up with a negative answer. Sometimes when you start with a negative base to a certain power, you come up with a positive answer, like negative 2 to the 4th is a positive 16. I just find that interesting that sometimes you start with a negative base and come up with a simplified positive answer. Sometimes you start with a negative base like negative two to the third power, and you come up with a simplified answer that's also negative. And I just wonder if you can try to think about why that happens, why sometimes we get positive answers, even when our base starts as a negative, and sometimes we get negative answers when our base starts as a negative. I'd like you to express the following in exponential notation. Please pause the video, try it out, come on back. All right, hopefully you see if you, oops, sorry about that went to the next slide accidentally. Hopefully you see if you multiply 4 by itself 7 times, that's just 4 to the 7th power. If you multiply negative 1 14th by itself 10 times, that's negative 1 14th to the 10th power. Please make sure your base of negative 1 14th is inside the parentheses and your 10th power is outside the parentheses. If you accidentally wrote this, Please fix it. If you accidentally wrote this and you put both items inside parentheses, both the exponent and the base, please fix that. Simplified, those values will not match this one. If you have a negative base, you put it within parentheses and you put the power it's raised to outside of the parentheses. Use what you know about exponential notation to fill in the blanks below. So pause the video, try to fill in the blanks, and then come on back. Okay, hopefully you've paused the video. Negative 12 to the 15th power. That means we're going to multiply negative 12 by itself 15 times. 3.6 to the 47th power means we're going to multiply 3.6 by itself 47 times. That's all that that means. Let's try a word problem. The number of bacteria in a sample doubles every hour. How many bacteria cells will there be after eight hours? If there is one cell at the beginning, write your answer as a power. So what I need for you to do is pause the video, try it out, come on back. All right, hopefully you pause the video. As I look at this problem, I say, okay, my sample's doubling every hour. Hopefully you understand what it means to double. You start with one cell at the beginning, and I want to know how many cells will be there after eight hours, and make sure you write that final answer as a power. Sometimes I find tables help me organize my information. So I know they're talking about a certain number of hours. They're talking about a certain number of bacteria cells. And they're telling me they want my final answer as a power. I know eventually I have to come up to eight hours and I have to get my final answer written as a power. Just try to organize my thoughts. So I'll probably look what happens after one hour, what happens after two hours, after three hours, maybe even after four hours. Oops, and then dot, dot, dot. Hopefully I'll get a pattern and see what's happening after eight hours. I start with one cell. So at the beginning, I start with one cell. And then after an hour, the population doubles. So after one hour, instead of just having one cell, it's now doubled to two cells. Again, every hour, that population is going to double. So if I double up two, at the end of my second hour, I'll actually have one, two, three, four cells. Two doubled becomes four cells. We can work this out for another hour. At the end of the next hour, at the end of my third hour, I'll actually have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
I'll actually have eight cells. And that makes sense because four doubles will be eight. What does it mean to double? Well, let's just see. One times two is two. Two times two is four. Four times two is eight. Doubling means you're just multiplying by two every time. So after our first hour, how many bacteria cells did we have? We had two, okay. After two hours, we had four. After three hours, we had eight. And we noticed doubling just means to multiply by two. So two times two is four. Four times two is eight. Next step to figure out, we could always do eight times two. Eight times two, doubling eight. Eight times two gets us to 16. That means after four hours, we'd have 16 bacteria cells. I hope you see here we are repeatedly multiplying by two. Repeated multiplication of two means the base is going to be two. If we're repeatedly multiplying by two, we're guaranteed the base will be two. Now we just have to figure out two to what power. Well, I could start here with maybe the eight, and we've actually worked on this one earlier tonight. Two to the what power is eight? Let's take a look. Two times two times two. Two times two is four. Four times two is eight. So two to the third power is eight. So you're going to notice after three hours, we have two to the third power or eight bacteria. What about right here? Two to the what power? Two to the what power gives us four bacteria. Let's take a look. Two times two. Two times itself. Two times here. Two times two. Two times two is four. That means two to the second power is four. Hmm. So after two hours, it's two to the second power for bacteria. After one hour, two to the first is two. So right here, hopefully we see a pattern now. After four hours, it's going to be two to the fourth power. Let's just double check that two to the fourth really is 16. Two times two times two times two. That's two to the fourth power. Two times two is four. Two times two is four, four times four is 16. Of course, two to the fourth is 16. So hopefully, if you notice the pattern, after eight hours, it will be two to the eighth power. You'll have two to the eighth bacteria. So there is our final answer written as a power, two to the eighth. To finish up tonight, I'd like you to answer the following questions and have them ready to share in class tomorrow. We'll pull a card, someone will come up and share their response. I'd like you to explain in words what the following expression means. What does negative five to the 95th power mean? I'd also like to know, do you think the expression negative five to the 95th power will be positive? or will be negative when you simplify it to a single value. So please do a nice write-up on those. Try to have a good night. See you tomorrow.